Hey guys, Lucky here from the Boston Celtics and you're about to watch the Suffolk Sports Report. Welcome into Studio 73. My name is Dai Pajeski and you're watching the Suffolk Sports Report. Let's start today's show with Josh DePeel's signature segment, The Peel. All right, thanks for joining us, Peelers, today. We're going to get into something that's near and dear to my heart something that many of you Bostonians out there won't understand. You see, I'm from California, Sacramento to be precise. We don't have football or baseball, but we got basketball. The Sacramento Kings are the biggest sports franchise that resides in our small city. Every year, the fans come out in droves raving to each other about what a great choice our lottery pick was. Smiles come on our faces during summer league when we see the young talent prosper. Look at this kid. He's going to be great. But the happiness, ends there. The last time that the Kings had a winning record was in 2005. Put that into perspective for a second. During that time, we've seen Cleveland's 52-year title drought end, the Cubs win a World Series, Michael Phelps become the most decorated Olympian of all time, and damn near four presidential terms. Think about that for a second. The last time the Kings had a winning record, George Bush was our president. Are you kidding me? You always hear Nick fans complaining about how awful their franchise is. At least in that dumpster fire, there were a few solid seasons mixed in with Melo and Amari. The Kings don't have that. There isn't a single solitary season in the past 15 years that anyone can point to and be like, damn, that Kings team had some ballers. Just in recent memory alone, the Kings have, had, have passed on guys like Damian Lillard, Kawhi Leonard, Donovan Mitchell, both of the Splash Brothers, Nikola Vucevic, Jimmy Butler, and most recently, of course, Luka Doncic. You want to know the wealth of talent that we got in return instead of those guys? Jimmer Fredette, Thomas Robinson, Ben McLemore, Willie Cauley-Stein, Nick Stauskas, Georges Papagianis, and the often injured Marvin Bagley. I mean, four out of those six guys are literally not even in the league anymore. They're playing internationally. The other two, they're non-factors on their current team. The last straw was GM Vladi Divac's reasoning for picking Marvin Bagley over Luka Doncic. Keep in mind that Divac has had no hesitation in picking European players. As one himself, he believes that these guys will be able to become all-star talents on the NBA level. So what does he do? Luka Doncic is right there for the taking, like the greatest basketball prospect to ever come out of Europe. He decides to pass on him because he didn't like his dad. You can't make this stuff up. Okay, I'm sick of faithful Kings fans sitting by and letting it happen every year while we go through rebuild after rebuild. This franchise is a joke and not a very funny one. As long as Vladi Divac is GM and the malfeasance that has infected this franchise like a damn virus is continued to be allowed there, the Kings will always be the California team that's second fiddle to all the others. That's going to be all for this edition of The Peel. Now let's turn it over to Die for the Suffolk Sports Report newest segment. All right, thanks, Josh, for the peel. That was an amazing story about the Kings. I hope they get better for Josh's sake. Um, so here's the news quiz segment. Um, so I'm going to be answering a sports quiz, and I'll have to list out players, or I'll have to list off teams. And if I get an answer wrong, like a very obvious answer wrong, so say it was a quiz about best quarterbacks and I forgot Tom Brady, I would, as a punishment, I'd have to wear a goat head. Okay, does that make sense? All right, I hope you do. So I'm gonna have Josh come in now um, to give me the quiz. Hey guys, long time to see. Yeah, you, you were just yeah, there. Yeah, uh, yeah now he's here. You? Yeah. All right, so what do you have for me today, Josh? So today we're gonna be talking about the most recent playoffs for the big three. And the big three includes the NFL, NBA, and the MLB. So this quiz today, it's gonna to specify in the past season for each league, which teams made the playoffs. So for the NFL, there's 12 teams. Okay. NBA, there's 16. And the MLB, there's 10. Like, okay. for example, so the Patriots yeah. made the playoffs this last season. That'd be one of the options. Right. So you just have to name them all. All right. So do we have a timer? Do we have a timer? Yeah, we got a timer. Oh, okay. Okay. 
OK. All right, do, do you want me to go in order? Or do you want me to just name out everything? Just name out everything. All right. All Ready? Right. Here we go. All right, I'm going to start with 230. NFL, Titans, Patriots, Ravens, Chiefs, Texans, Bills, uh, Eagles, Seahawks, Niners, Saints. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go to MLB. Yankees, um, Astros, <laughs> A's, um, Brewers, Nationals, Cardinals. Um, all right, how many is that for MLB? You got. Three more. Oh, I got three more. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, I'll come back to that. NBA. So NBA. Celtics, Clippers, Rockets, um, Golden State, Raptors, Sixers, Nets, Orlando. So that's eight, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Eight more. Eight more. NFL, you only have one more. Huh? NFL, NFL you only have, have one oh, more. Oh, I have one? Yeah. Mm. Oh, 50, 55 minute. seconds, okay. Di. Come on, you can do this, buddy. All right. Uh, wow, this is so bad. Um, I'm trying to think. West Spurs. There you um, go. Seven more. Thirty-three uh, seconds. <laughs> Count them down, buddy. This is so bad. Oh, Dodgers for baseball. Yes, there we go. Did I complete baseball? No, you need two more. Oh, excuse me, three more. <laughs> um, wow, this is really bad. Uh, fourteen <laughs> seconds. Um, Bucks, Bucks, five, four, three, two, Pacers. one. Oh, you got the Pacers, but you were not able to complete them all, buddy. I'm okay. sorry. So for the NFL, the one team you missed, it was, excuse me, two teams you missed. I missed two. Was the Vikings and the Packers. Oh. So for the NBA, you missed the Pistons, the Blazers, Nuggets, Jazz, Pistons. and Thunder. Mm. And for the MLB, you missed the Twins and the Rays. But other than that, you clean the board. Okay. But you All also right. subsequently have to do a punishment next All week. Right. So I'm sorry, so, buddy. So which do you think was the biggest mistake? Biggest mistake? Um, hmm. You forgot the NFC North teams in the NFL. You got to get right. the NFC North teams down. Okay. So this is Vikings and the Packers, Vikings right? and the Packers, yeah. So do I have to wear something? You could wear... You can. We can throw cheese at you. Oh, okay. Yeah. So can you throw cheese in him next okay, week? That's so the plan. Nope, can't throw cheese in the studio. Maybe not. Oh. We'll think of something. Um, all right. So next time you'll see me doing an NFC North themed punishment. So I don't forget the NFC North ever again. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Cut. <laughs> <laughs>